to getting to know. This week we've been lucky enough to be invited into the house of Chris Dawes. Dawesy, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. What have you brought in for show and tell? I've brought these two little guys. These are our dogs. This is Bert and Barney. Little pugs. Bert's about 18 months old. And Barney would be about 8 months old. And Bert is sort of a bit of a worried old man. And Barney's just a little annoying younger brother, as you can imagine. And these are more than just pets to you. They're really like children, aren't they? Oh, I, I wish they weren't, but... My girlfriend would say that they are. Yes. Um, they certainly get spoiled, these dogs. And so and when, you, when you come home at 3 o'clock or in the afternoon, what sort of reaction do you get from the boys? Uh, always great excitement, but that's very much mutual. I'm always excited to see them as well. And, uh, yeah, for the first probably 10, 15 minutes when I come <laughs> home, Barney's a bit worried by the cameraman yes. at the moment. That hasn't had much experience on TV before. <laughs> Play it cool, Barney. Play it cool. Be cool, Barney. Uh, yeah, when I first come home, they get pretty excited and they run around. Bert especially always likes to grab a toy and parade that around for a while. Good. And then as soon as I sit on the couch, they're usually pretty happy to just jump on my lap and sleep next to me. Nice to have so much love when you get home into the house. Now, I know yeah. that you are quite, a, you're a modest father, but the dogs are not just dogs. They can do amazing things. I have found out that they can... Dress themselves like you. Oh my god. Dress themselves, and not only can they dress themselves, they can also write letters. Oh. Can you confirm this? I'm, I'm really upset with my fiance at the moment. She's <laughs> hung me out to dry here. <laughs> what do you think, boys? Want to remember that? <laughs> and so, not only um, do you dress the dogs like yourself, you often rotate the outfits around. Mix it up a bit. I'm going to have words with Paige later. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are, you dress, are you the one that dresses the dogs or is that more um, Paige? Yeah, that's very much Paige. Of, uh, I'm, I'm dead against it. Uh, yet it always seems to be me posing in photos with them. So. <laughs> you think you can get them in a Melbourne Guernsey? We actually had one somewhere, I think. Really? Yeah, it doubled up as an old Brighton Guernsey from... Yeah, previous days, but there's one floating about somewhere. We might have to give it a go, I think. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in, boys. They've been very well behaved. Good work, boys. Well, Bert has anyway. Doors, we have our social media questions for you. First up, Lauren would like to know, do you have any talents? Uh, oh, sorry, I should extrapolate. Hidden talents. We know that you are talented. I, I was going to say, <laughs> that's probably fair enough, because I'm not that talented at football <laughs> at the moment. Uh... Hidden talent? No, I'm uh, no, decidedly unimpressive at most things. Not karaoke, any party tricks? No, anything involving speech, I'm hindered by a big lisp. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anything involving coordination, I'm, I struggle as well, don't have great balance, so yeah, I'm pretty limited. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> and Kate would like to know, this will make you feel better about yourself, do you want to go on a date? With Kate? With Kate. With, yeah. uh, sure, after the way my missus has hung me out to dry, I think <laughs> may as well play the field a bit. This is good news for Kate, but we, we should say that Dorsey is engaged. engaged. Yes. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> good try, though. We shot four likes on that comment as well. Yeah. And Sarah would like to know, if we looked in your fridge, what would we find? That's actually a good question. I'm... I'm not great at eating at home. I tend to eat a lot of meals out. Yeah. I think there'll be a few leftovers from a Mexican feast the other night. Uh, there'd be a fair bit of yogurt and a fair bit of mineral water. Now, Dorsey Page has hung you out to dry, as you said earlier, and she sent me a photo of you as a boy who always insisted on being perfectly dressed like an AFL footballer. And back in the day, you used to go for Geelong. Here you are in your Geelong outfit. But when your mum bought you this Guernsey, it didn't have the Ford sponsorship on it. So you wrote to Geelong, asked them to send you the sponsorship so you could sew it on the Guernsey. Do you remember this? Well, I'm just a... Yeah, I do, unfortunately. I think it just shows that I, uh, my attention to detail and uh, how much I was kidding myself with that bowl haircut. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a trendy at the time, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I think it was all the rage back then. And so you were a Geelong supporter as a child? Yeah, and sort of the irony of that is I now hate them after losing to them in the 2011 grand final. But um, yeah, I went for Geelong just because that's who the old man went for. I think he'd, he'd gone for them since the 60s. He had a cousin that had played for them back then. And uh, and that meant my older brother went for them. And being a younger brother like Barney, I just wanted to do whatever my older brother did. As you do. Yeah. Do you remember playing your first game against Geelong? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. We, we got rolled. It was in 2010. And... Uh, yeah, they beat us, but by that stage, the the affection was real, well and truly cut off by then. I, I yes. hated them before I'd even played Weren't against so them. Weren't so starstruck yeah. then. <laughs> well, we like seeing you in the red and blue now instead of the blue and white. We think it suits you a lot better. Yeah, much better. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed getting to know Dorsey and his two children. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks, Ellie.